the instruments used in experimental physiology are the connections. First is connected to the low voltage terminal, from here to simple key, from here to induction coil. In the low voltage terminal, there are two terminals. One is interrupted through simple key. This is to break and make supply. This is the induction coil, primary coil, from here to connections made to secondary coil, from here to tissue chamber through short circuiting key. This is the instrument Sherrington Stralling apparatus, consists of the main spindle, gear system arrangement, switch to operate, and the drum to record. Filled with the saline solution, and this consists of the stimulator and the lever arrangement to record. Live tissue is used separated from the animal or anesthetized animal is used. Here we are using the anesthetized frog in the, sorry, hold the frog in the left hand and slightly bend the head so that you can be able to see the occipital vertebral junction, introduce the needle in the forward direction and then destroy the brain by rotating movements and then pass the needle in the downward direction introduce into the vertebral column and by rotating movements destroy the spinal cord. Now the animal is live but the brain and the spinal cord is destroyed. Now it is ready for dissection. Is the pith frog on the dissection board and make a transverse incision in the skin, then a median incision, cut the abdominal wall near the sternum, lift all the abdominal wall, by keeping the sternum in the forceps, Remove all the connections. Cut the sternum and the side connections and remove it. Now you can able to see the thoracic organs and the abdominal organs. Slowly lift the eating heart is exposed. See the parts of the heart. This is the auricle and the ventricle. This is the bulbous arteriosus. And this is the groove between the auricle and the ventricle. And bend, bend it. And then pierce the apex of the heart. And slowly take it out. The other end is tied with a thread. to see the sinus venosus. Now place the frog in the tissue chamber filled with Pringles solution. 
tie the free end of the thread to the lever with proper tension. Set the drum with medium speed and record the record the normal heartbeat. Now the chamber is filled with hot water to see the effect of heat. Now we can be able to see the increase in rate and amplitude of the heartbeat. Replace the hot water and put cold water with 5 degrees centigrade and see the effect. Now you can able to see the rate and the amplitude decreased. This experiment is to show the effect of ions and drugs on frog heart. For this experiment, the frog is prepared as in the heartbeat experiment. The cannula is introduced into the sinus venosus. Care is taken to see to introduce the cannula the needle is drawn backward a small slit is made in the sinus venosus. The cannula is introduced into the sinus venosus. After introducing the saline filled cannula, separate the heart from all the attachments and connect the cannula to the side tube of perfusion funnel fixed into the stand. To check the patency, introduce a needle into the cannula to reach the heart. Check the patency, a needle is introduced into the cannula to reach the heart. Now fill the funnel with Ringer solution and see the heartbeat recorded in the drum. This shows the normal heartbeat. Stop. This experiment is to show the effect of stimulus on muscle nerve preparation. The gastrocnemius muscle along with sciatic nerve is generally used for this experiments related to skeletal muscle. Lay the pithed frog on its back on the dissection board. Remove all the organs. Cut the spinal cord in the middle. And remove the dorsal portion. Cut the skin on the back. Hold the spinal cord with the cloth by using the left hand and hold the skin with the right hand. Strip off the skin a little force is applied to remove the skin.
and place the portion on the dissection board. Apply some saline solution to avoid drying. Cut the unwanted muscles on the fascia. And then put the frog on the dorsal side, raise the urostyle and cut it. Now bisect the spinal cord by using scissors without damaging the nerve. The hard portion, care must be taken to cut the spinal cord. After bisecting the spinal cord, cut down to reach the hip bone. Bisect the pelvic bone by making use of bone cutter. The muscles are cut by means of scissor so that two halves separated. Put the one half of the preparation in the saline solution. And make ready the other portion. Stop. Incision in the intramuscular grooves between the tibio fibula and semi membranous. Separate the muscle to expose the sciatic nerve all through its course into that region. Then hold the spinal cord and separate the attachments. On the other side, remove the pyriformis muscle and the muscle attachments. must be taken to see because it is the nerve is superficial here that runs in the groove so keep the scissors under the nerve and cut the attachments Now cut the fascia covering the muscle and see the sciatic nerve running in that. Cut below the nerve by removing the attachments.
So dissection is done on the sites to avoid damage to the nerve. Separate the muscles and the cause of the nerve is dissected. The nerve is isolated from the attachments. The muscles covering the femur portion is removed. Now the femur bone is free from the muscle attachments. The femur bone is cut by leaving one inch. Now the tendon is separated by introducing the scissor. A thread is passed under the tendon. A knot is made at the end of the gastrocnemius muscle tendon. The knot below the portion is cut off to separate muscle is separated from the bone and the tibial bone is removed near the knee joint. Saline is applied on the preparation to avoid drying. Stop. Now the preparation is put into the saline solution that is the tissue chamber and all the connections were made. In the connection the simple key is removed and introduced into the drum. The drum is set into fast speed stimulus is applied to see the effect. Now the drum is set to rotate. Stop. Now you are seeing the simple muscle curve with the markings A point of stimulation, B point of contraction, C point of maximum contraction, D point of relaxation. Stop. 
To see the effect on heat on muscle contraction, prepare the muscle nerve preparation, arrange the electrical apparatus to give a single stimulus with induced current. Now pour the hot water into the tissue chamber. Now you see the simple muscle curve showing the height increased compared to the simple muscle curve. This is due to the effect of heat. Stop. This is the normal simple muscle curve. This is the simple curve with the effect of heat. You can see the increase in amplitude. To see the effect of cold, empty the tissue chamber and put cold water. and start the drum to record the graph. Now you can able to see the reduce in amplitude. experiment is to show the effect of sustained repetitive stimuli on muscle contraction that is fatigue. Arrange the apparatus and the muscle nerve preparation as for recording the muscle twitch. Set the drum in fast speed, apply the point of the lever on the drum surface and set the drum in motion. Record the first three contractions and then leave fourth to ninth contraction. Record the 10th and 15th, 20th and 25th contractions and see the recording. the recording until it reaches the baseline. Now you can able to see the decrease in amplitude, prolongation in the contraction and prolongation in the relaxation. The latent period is also increased. This experiment is to show the effect of load and afterload on mechanical efficiency of muscle. Arrange the apparatus